Is there something that can happen that can cause all electronic technology to disappear, forcing humanity back into the Stone Ages? I want to know. I'm gonna find out. Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Other Epic Story Vlog. This is the show where I talk about writing, editing, world building, tips, tricks, questions, answers, all that I apply to my own work, which is an epic dystopian, and potentially science fiction fantasy. My story was very inspired by Stephen King's The Dark Tower series and how genre crossing it was. If this is your first time watching this and you're interested in learning more about the project, I got a link right up there for you. All right, back to the question. Can something cause all electronic technology to disappear? Initially, when I wrote the story, I just said technology, but technology is a very broad term. Eyeglasses are technology. The printing press is a technology. Even like this couch here, in a way, is a type of technology. But what I mean at first is like electronic technology. We rely so much on electricity today from our lights to the, our iPhones to the manufacturing plants that create literally everything in our homes. If electricity disappears, just a complete blackout, we'd be pretty screwed. And that's sort of what my story is about. It's about a few generations after that critical event and just understanding how humanity is surviving now. But what I didn't figure out when I wrote this story is what actually caused technology to disappear. I sort of just, just threw it out there. I wanted to get right to the, the plot. I didn't think of the backstory, the cause of everything. Realistically, what can cause electronic technology to disappear. Can anything? Aside from like a global apocalypse where everybody just like dies, like a zombie apocalypse or something, but more about something that affects just the technology. So I came up with three potential circumstances that can cause electronic technology to fail. The first one is celestial storms. I'm talking about solar flares or geomagnetic storms caused by the sun or also known as coronal mass ejections. I want to preface this by saying that I'm not a scientist, I'm not an expert. What you're about to hear is like the most layman, layman thing about this topic. So basically what's happening is the sun's atmosphere is being disrupted. This causes all these magnetic particles, these plasma rays to be sent towards Earth. So what ends up happening once it hits Earth is it causes all our power grids to overload and fail. The most high profile example of this event happened in Quebec almost 30 years ago, March 13th, 1989 where it caused the whole entire province to have a blackout. The power outage only lasted 12 hours, which in my experience is quite short. I've been through three day power outs just because of a windstorm. But it's still kind of scary that there's these like magnetic plasma hurricanes that could happen in space that could literally disrupt everything on Earth. Is it possible that this could happen again? Yeah, very certainly, but it is kind of like a storm traveling through space, and space is quite big. So we could just keep hoping that all these coronal mass ejection can just miss us. The second circumstance for all electronic technology to disappear is lack of resources. There are certain materials that we need to build computer components, and some of them are actually quite rare. For example, a hard disk will require an element called rufium, which is kind of like platinum, but it's actually rarer than gold and platinum. So it's worth a lot, and we use it in computers. And a material used to make processors called hafnium, apparently we only have 10 more years of this material left at the rate that we're using it. So that's kind of scary. I mean, I don't know 
what these things are, but resources are limited. <laughs> Apparently. But I'm sure we could create some sort of um, faux computer processor or something like that. And the third potential cause of all electronic technology disappearing from the world is human error. Think of how many times you mess up at work. A lot. But none of my mistakes have ever caused the collapse of the company that I work for. That is something I put on my resume. This is what's great about big companies is that they don't put um, responsibility on one sole person because they know that tens of thousands and millions of people rely on their products and services. This is good because if someone makes a mistake, it could fall to another person and that person can fix it. It's called a fail safe and it's really smart to have it. We are the programmers after all. We're creating these AIs to do all these things, but a mistake can happen at any point from here until the near future where computers can start building themselves and figuring out how to make themselves better without us even touching it. Kind of a scary thought, but that is in a way what's happening at the moment. The fact that we as people are still in control of technology is a good sign. I don't know how much longer that's gonna last. It seems like a lot of stuff is automated now, which is a little scary. So it's not impossible that we automate something, even just the date changing. There could be some corrupted code or, I don't know, computer programming jargon that causes the technology to in a way self-destruct and fail and damage itself beyond repair in some way. But luckily for us, many countries in the world use this technology and there's a lot of smart people uh, figuring stuff out. So if one person makes a mistake, odds are 5, 10, 50, 20 other people will catch that mistake and have it fixed before they send it out. Then again, just look at big companies like Facebook who have their data leaked like almost every quarter or something. It's a hacker's world now. So those are my three potential causes of total annihilation through the absence of electronic technology. But I have one more, and this is the one I think I might play around with in my story. And it's ancient aliens. Yes, why, why, why not? Why not, why not have that be a possibility? Aliens come, they take all our technology, they leave. That sounds simple enough, I might just use it. I've always been very interested in writing more science fiction. I've always been timid around it. But now I think that it might open a lot of avenue. It might help me build that genre crossing project that I want. I think there's something to explore here. Aliens. It might be just a, a cheap way to get out of this like predicament that I found myself in and I'm clearly not smart enough to get out of it. So, how's that gonna do it? Ancient Aliens. This is a fantastically weird episode. I'm glad I still made it. I've kind of learned some stuff. I hope you did as well. I encourage you to leave some comments below on how you think technology could potentially fail us. I need more ideas, more ideas is great, so please share below. And if you wanna learn more about world building or just have more discussions about weird stuff like this, uh, there's a video right there for you. Thank you so much, I'll see you there. Talk to you later, be safe everybody.